special breed, or you are the only animal who can think, who can reason, who can read. Now all your pets are smart, that's true, but none of them can add up two and two because the only thinking animal is you, you, you. I hope you're watching, because I'm going to talk about what you're watching with, your eyes. <laughs> Throughout history, man has been an eye animal. He had to be. Because other animals had keener smell and greater speed. So man learned early to rely upon his superior vision. To give him a head start for his own survival and today it's not much different man's sense of sight is one of the strongest in the animal world and through intelligence he has invented instruments to increase his natural sight he's made binoculars for distance the telescope for astronomy the microscope for scientific research, and he has built the Palomar Observatory for viewing outer space. You know how I know all of these things? I get them out of books. You can find anything you want to know from books. Yes, sir, everything about anything, or vice versa. Let's see what we can find on sight. Here's the ear, the nose. This ought to show you the eye. Now, your eye is the most delicate and miraculous part of your body. So, let's take a look and see how it sees. The human eye works much like a camera. The camera focuses on an object and takes a picture by means of a lens and a photo plate. When light rays from the object pass through the camera lens, they cross. The light rays from the top of the object strike the bottom of the photo plate and the light rays from the bottom strike the top of the plate. Thus, the picture is taken upside down. After the plate is developed, we view the print right side up. When the eye sees an object, reflected light rays pass through the eye lens and cross, just as they did in the camera. And the image is projected on the retina of the eye. Now the retina is the back of the eye and receives the image upside down just as the photoplate did. But in one millionth of a second, the brain reverses the picture and you see it right side up. If your brain did not do this, just imagine. Automobiles would run on the ceiling, lights would hang from the floor, old Rover would be sitting in the sky, and if you were a baseball pitcher, imagine trying to get the ball over the plate with everything upside down. But your brain does put things right side up, and you put the ball over for a steer. Now let's look at the camera again. The amount of light that enters the camera lens is regulated by a device called the lens diaphragm, which opens for dim light and closes for bright light. The iris of the eye regulates light in the same way opening out for dim light and closing in for bright light. The human eye has two kinds of sight receptors, the cones and the rods. The cones are in the center of the eye. They work best in bright light and see colors and sharp detail. The rods surround the center. They work in dim light and see shades in tones of darks and grays. Now chickens have only cones in their eyes. They can't see in the dark. And when the sun goes down, it's bedtime. Bats, having only rods in their eyes, sleep through the day. But they are wide awake at night. 
You, having both rods and cones, can see by day or night. Now, because your eyes are valuable, nature has built in some safety features to protect them. For example, the tear glands in your eyes work like the automatic water spray on a windshield. And, like the windshield wiper, the eyelids wipe your eyes clear of dust and other particles. Window shades can dim sunlight in a room, just as your eyelids shade your eyes from strong light. Screens keep insects and dirt out of the house, and your eyelashes do the same for your eyes. The eaves of a roof jut out to protect the house from weather. Your eyebrows serve the same purpose, keeping rain and perspiration out of your eyes. You know, sometimes your eyes play tricks on you. It's called optical illusion. For instance, which of these two straight lines looks longer to you? Most people will say this one, but they're both the same length. I'll bet you've heard the expression, eyes like an eagle. Well, Mr. Eagle has a good eye, especially for long distance. He can spot a fish from two miles up and dive straight to it. Now, Mr. Frog only sees what's going on in his own little pond. And even there, he doesn't really see anything until it moves. And sometimes, almost too late. Man can see things moving or still, far or near. Yeehaw! That's too near. By the way, did you know Mr. B has 12,000 eyes? Boy, that's an eyeful. Hey, now watch it. Look out there. Look out. That was close. <laughs> what do you know? Right back where we started. Now I've told you a few things about your eyes. They do a lot for you, so there are a few things you ought to do for them, such as get enough sleep so your eyes won't get tired, be sure to have correct light when you work or read, and keep sharp pointed objects away from your eyes.